वेलकम बैक गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर लैब फॉर डूइंग द फर्मवेयर अपडेट ऑन डेल स्विचेस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माय स्क्रीन नाउ दिस टू कमांड आई ऑलरेडी कॉपी इन माय प्रीवियस सेशन इन द नोटपैड ओके वन फॉर द डाउनलोड इमेज एंड वन फॉर द इमेज इंस्टॉलेशन फ्रॉम द यूएसबी सो आई विल कॉपी दिस फर्स्ट कमांड एंड आई पुट इन माई सी एल आई so the process is started i'll make it show image status it will show me the status for this downloading the image from the usb this is in progress if you check here over here the file transfer state is downloaded and state detail progress time and the percentage is there let's check again still in the progress okay still in progress it will take around 2 minutes depend on the on your usb now it is completed okay it is giving you the detail for the completed date and time and transfer progress is 100% so i'll make it show boot still my active and my standby partition have the old 10543 firmware available So I'll go now on the second command for the image install USB. I'll make it copy and put it on my CLI. Okay, so this is copied now. So the installation is in progress now. There is total nine steps. It will show you that how many it is completed. Still in progress. Now, if you see, it is three are completed out of nine. for configuring file system okay now 7 of 9 is completed and finally it is done now my both are completed downloading and installation in the file system is completed now the next command is boot system standby okay So I told that uh, my iOS is in my standby partition. Show boot detail. So there are two boot detail. One as active partition and one as standby partition. If you see, this is the node ID. This is the boot type is flash boot, and then it is giving my partition A as my active switch version is ten five four three, which is my old. And immediately, if you check on the on the second down. there is standby partition which is b and this is showing as my 10543 this is the one b okay and and standby version is 10557 which is my new so i'll make it reload to make it forcefully active uh, forcefully start from partition b okay so once it started you will see the standby partition as the next boot so i will do the same configuration on my secondary switch and i will copy the same command and paste in my second switch okay so the same process is started now show image status it is in progress okay in progress yeah now it is completed very simple straight forward the uh, transfer progress is 100% and this is the byte it giving some other information okay the next command i will copy same image install usb okay so the image is started in the file system so installation state is in progress 
okay three are completed out of nine let's check on my first switch i'll make it uh, i'll connect it with my network because i'm connected over the network make it show version so my version is 10557 the new one this is the one. okay you see how much simple this process is show boot detail okay in the boot detail now my active partition is b previously it was a so my new firmware in the b and old firmware is also still in the in my flash but in partition a 10.5.4.3 this is the one okay and my next boot is also as active b so if i reboot it again it will take the same partition b with the new firmware see guys so let's come back to my second switch this is still in progress let me check yes five is completed out of nine yeah so guys it is done as well installation and uh, the copy of the download uh, from the usb to the flash and the file system both is completed now okay so you see this one it is completed transfer rate and uh, the installation state is completed successfully with the date and time so i'll put the command now boot system standby okay now i will check show boot details so it's the same as my first switch my active partition is uh, with my old firmware which is 10543 this is the active partition version and my standby partition with my new firmware which is not is uh, activated fully until i will do the reboot reload okay make it reload you ask me to save configuration yes yes okay i will ssh again show boot details okay in the boot detail now my active partition is b with the new firmware same as my first switch very simple okay here also the show boot details are same as my second switch okay show version let's see on both side okay show version and this show version is same so guys finally you see how we did the upgrade and how the steps are very simple straightforward i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel and furthermore in the next uh, available session i'm going to configure the dell switches that how we configure the dell switches it is a complete configuration for the dell side and you will see how much easier the to configure the dell switch same as cisco the commands are similar there is no complex or different command so uh, keep watching my channel and don't forget to watch my next video related with dell switches configuration thanks for watching once again take care allah hafiz bye bye